Welcome to another tooling video. In this tooling video, the stakeholder analysis will be discussed. A stakeholder is an individual or organization that has an interest or stake in the firm's ongoing activities. A stakeholder analysis is the process of identifying, understanding, and prioritizing the needs of key stakeholders. There are three steps to an effective stakeholder analysis. The first is that you need to identify who your stakeholders are. If we look at the stakeholders from the organizational viewpoint, these include owners, directors, managers, and employees. Next to this are stakeholders in the operating environment, which could include government agencies, customers, or unions. Next to this are stakeholders in the broad environment. This includes technological changes, global economic forces, and socio-cultural forces. The goals and needs of different stakeholders are often conflicting with one another. That is why stakeholder management is an ongoing undertaking of integrating numerous relationships and numerous goals. Let's say you are working on a project in which there are four stakeholders. Tim is your teammate who you need to submit the data to, Daniel is your manager who needs to approve your project, and Anne and Bob are your colleagues who you need to present the project to. In the second stage, when you know who your stakeholders are, you can plot them on the grid. The grid consists of two dimensions, the level of power and the level of interest. Both of these can be either low or high. In this way, you know where to put the stakeholder on the grid and what kind of action is being asked. In your project, Tim has a high interest but low power, so he needs to be kept informed. Daniel has a high interest and a high level of power, so he needs to be managed closely. And Anne and Bob both have low interest and low power. They just need to be monitored. In the third stage, you could colour code the stakeholders on the grid as either opposing or supporting so that you can monitor and act upon changes more accurately. In your project, Tim is in opposition as he is very busy and has little time. Daniel is supporting your project. Anne is opposing your project as she is not interested in the subject. Whereas Bob is very supportive as it is a subject very close to his heart. In this way, it is easy to keep track of which stakeholders you need to provide with what kind of information, on which regularity, and which stakeholders you might need to give more attention in order to get involved. The most effective partnerships with your stakeholders are created by strong quality of communication, joint problem solving, commitment, coordination, and trust. Thank you for watching this tooling video and see you next time.